You're competing for a championship. And they're just the next team that's in our way. Yeah, we're just another team in our way. We're not just another team. We're a great team. We're just another team. You don't prepare. You really don't prepare for just another team. We're not just another team. LeBron 101 and George fires and hits. Miami wins it in seven. They advance to the finals. Challenge, and that's what they want to focus on. We're fighting to be the top dog, the last man standing. In a league that really doesn't have many true rivalries right now, this one's legit. Now Wade pushes Stevenson. Both sides come together. Step around, James. Oh, George, how do you do? He is hogtied by Mahimi. We're getting punched in the face and clotheslined out there. If you can come down and clothesline somebody, I mean, it's open season, man. You know, people are going to get hurt. With the elbow across the chin, Hibbert's still down. Playing against the champions, you got to bring it. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Heat and Pacers gets underway in Indianapolis Day 3:30 Eastern. And listen, we already knew these teams didn't like one another. That has now become even more evident before the series has started. For more, we send it out to Mark Schwartz, who's covering the Heat. Sarah, Lance Stevenson is just one of those individuals that tends to say some stuff that other people don't say. Well, yesterday at the Pacers shoot-around, Stevenson said about Dwayne Wade, I think his knee is messed up, so I've got to be extra aggressive, make him run around so his knee will flare up. I will do anything as much as possible. Now, Jeff Van Gundy likes to say this is a make-or-miss league. Well, it's also a make or wince league. He's the only guy out there that would make a statement like that. And Dwayne Wade's knee is messed up, but every team in the league knows that. But Stevenson is the only guy who's crazy enough to say it to the public. I'm sure Frank Vogel probably not too happy with him. Meanwhile, this is a game between two teams that are so familiar with one another that have split their last 14 meetings. This series starting here in Indiana. But here's something to know about the Miami Heat. In the Big Three era, they have played 14 playoff series. In each of those series, they have won at least one road game. In fact, in five of those series, they have won two road games. So when you talk to the Heat about starting on the road, they don't sound the least bit concerned. If we can't win on the road, then you know we're not the team that you know um, that we think we are anyway. So we can't concern ourselves with a game seven. We got to concern ourselves with a game one. You know, there's two games up there. We're not trying to win one. We try to win every game we play. Well, I love going on the road. I love performing at a high level on the road. I mean, uh, you know, hopefully I can put together some performances that uh, can help us get some wins. We want to come out and win. And um, you know, the only difference is you're in another city. So uh, we've always. We talked about being a good road team. Uh, we knew this year was going to be a little bit more difficult, and that's probably why. Well, the Pacers do have home court. They fought for it all year. They were the best home court team during the regular season with 36 wins and only five losses. But mysteriously, they have fallen apart here at Bankers Life during the postseason, losing four of seven here at home and playing some of their worst basketball in this arena. The Lance Stevenson comments are clearly making a lot of news. What are your thoughts on what Stevenson said about Wade's knee? It's very bold, um, to some degree accurate, but at the same time, not very, very smart. Dwayne Wade's averaging 18 and 4 during these playoffs, but he just came off a 28 point performance uh, in their closeout game against the Brooklyn Nets. We all know what Dwayne Wade can do, and we know what he does come playoff time. The bigger the moment, the bigger the challenge, the more he rises to the occasion. So it's not the most intelligent thing in the world for Lance Stevenson to say, but at the same time, you got to give him credit for having a lot of guts because he's putting himself in the eye of the storm, and now we're going to have an opportunity to watch how Lance Stevenson responds. He's not going to back down from anybody. He's not scared. He's got the size, the athleticism, and the intestinal fortitude to go up against Dwayne Wade. The question is, does he have the game overall, intellectually, not just athletically, in order to offset what Dwayne Wade is going to throw in his direction? Dwayne Wade can get in your head as well. He can get you in the foul trouble. His pump fakes are incredibly effective. He can get to the rim. He can shoot from the perimeter. He can do a lot of damage. And Lance Stevenson, because he opened his mouth, we're going to all be looking to him to respond and see how that goes. Yeah, the two have a bit of a history. They were involved in a pair of altercations during Indiana. Indiana's one point win back in April. Stevenson said, listen, this is not personal, but on the court, there's no friends. Indiana, three and four in the playoffs at home after being 35 and six at home during the regular season.